This is the demo for the virtual testbed. Uh, currently in ITES, we support emulation at the test case level. And this feature basically adds emulation support at the topology level. So here I have created a blank topology with two devices. And when you right click on a blank space in the topology, you'll see this new context menu called Disable Device Emulation Settings. What it means right now is that when you create a blank topology, we are enabling device emulation settings. It doesn't mean that this topology is automatically emulated. What it means is that if you choose to turn on emulation on a device, then we will emulate that device. Now for the device, right click, there's a context menu called emulation. And by default it says use test case settings. What that means is that if in your test case you've turned emulation on for uh, certain steps that has to do with its device, then we will use the emulation settings in the test case. Now if I turn it on to always, that means no matter what the test case setting says for that step, emulation is always turned on. Basically, the settings here will overwrite the settings in the test case. And if I say never, that means no matter what the test case settings, uh, settings say about that step, emulation will never be turned on. You'll notice that the device background changed colors. So if the device is never emulated, then we pick one color. And this color might be temporary right now, but right now it's purple. And if it's turned on, if emulation is turned on, then we change to a different color. And if we're using test case settings, then it's just a white background. Now suppose I right click on the topology again, and I say disable device emulation settings. What this means is that even though I can still toggle the settings on individual devices, the overall settings and the topology overrides the settings and device. And right now I have set to disable em device emulation settings. That means no matter what settings I pick for the device, any device, and what settings I pick for the test case, the steps for the session on this topology will never be emulated. The other thing to notice is that there is an emulation property in the property view and you can change it here or you can use the context menu. As you can see, it went from disabled to enabled. Also for the device, there is emulation property too. Right now it's set to defer, but if I change to always, it's set to enabled, never, and now it's disabled. When you create a blank topology though, these properties are not present, right? The emulation property is not present. And as I mentioned earlier, if the emulation property is not present for the device, that means it's equivalent to use test case settings. And for the topology, it's equivalent to being set to enabled. So let me, let me just demonstrate running a test case with emulation turned on. So first we will make sure that emulation is enabled for the topology, meaning that we will pay attention to device settings. And then for this device, that's turned on always. Okay. Now we'll go to the test case, which is using the topology. As you can see, for the test case, emulation is not turned on. But because we have turned on emulation in the topology, those settings in the topology will overwrite the settings in the test case. Therefore, if I'm correct, the test case should be emulated. So let's just run it. And indeed, this is my emulated response for the step. 
Now let me turn emulation off on the device <clears throat> to never stop. Go back to the test case and run it again. And this time you should see a session open, which means that it's not emulated. Now let's change to use test case settings. Right now test case settings says no emulation, so it should not be emulated if we run the test case. Now let's turn t emulation on in the test case. Get to general. Make sure that this is always as you can see it's emulated again. Okay, now let's make sure that we disable emulation in the topology by checking this. Save it. Remember that earlier we turned emulation on in the test case, but the settings in topology should override the settings in the test case, and what we should see is that the, the sorry the test case is not emulated. Which is correct. For convenience, we've added a new main uh, menu, topology, and there's an emulation menu. And this, these two menus basically uh, is equivalent to the menu, the context menu that you see when you click on a blank space in the topology. So let's enable it. See the color changed, and then can disable it. Now the first three menus is basically to toggle all the settings on the devices. So if I say emulate all device responses, then it will go to each device and turn the setting to always. And the second one will set it to never. And the third one is to use test case emulation settings. This is just so that we make it a little more convenient for the user. So if they did want to turn on emulation on all the devices, and if they had a large topology with many devices, they don't have to go to each device and click on the context menu. And that concludes the demo.